Welcome back. It's now time for your midday sports. Less than ideal weather conditions and an extended period of inactivity have been given as reasons for Jamaica's meager returns at the just-concluded World Athletics Under-20 Championships in Lima, Peru. After winning 60 medals in Cali, Colombia two years ago, Jamaica's team to the Games in Lima returned with five medals. Michael Dyke, who was one of the coaches and traveled with the team, says it was always going to be difficult to match a performance from Cali, Colombia, given that the athletes last competed in June. Dyke also pointed to conditions in Lima as a factor for athletes underperforming, but says having won four gold medals, the return was still commendable. It was very cold. We did not expect that sort of um, condition at this time down there. And that would have affected most of, most of the athletes. But, you know, overall, we have to give thanks. We won four gold medals, which placed us fourth overall, beating a lot of the giants. You know, so I am, I am very pleased, even though we, we wanted more, but the condition wasn't conducive. And also take into consideration that the trials was so early in June, and then after that, we didn't have any main competition to keep the athletes um, active competitively. Jamaica ended the championship with four gold and a bronze. Twelve Jamaicans have been confirmed for Thursday's penultimate stop in the 2024 Diamond League season in Zurich. Olympic finalist Tia Clayton, who won her first Diamond League race in Silesia on August 25, will face a tough women's 100-meter field, which includes Olympic champion Julian Alfred and world champion Shakira Richardson. National record holder Rashawn Clark will contest the men's 400-meter hurdles, while in the women's equivalent, four Jamaicans have been confirmed, led by Olympic finalists Rochelle Clayton and Cheyenne Salmon. Olympic bronze medalist Rashid Broadbill and 2021 Olympic champion Hans Parchment are the Jamaicans in the men's 110-meter hurdles, while world champion Daniel Williams is the lone Jamaican in the women's 100-meter hurdles. In the field, Olympic silver medalist Wayne Pinnock, Kier McLeod and Tajay Gale will compete in the men's long jump while Olympic bronze medalist Rajinder Campbell is also set to contest the men's shot put event. And President of the Jamaica Cricket Association, Dr. Donovan Bennett, says it will take a collective effort to lift the standard of the game locally. Bennett has criticized the management of the sport under former President Wilford Billy Heaven, saying not enough attention was being paid to the development of the game at the grassroots level. There are a lot of changes. I mean, we have to concentrate more on our core function which is cricket which is development of the of, of, of the game I, I don't think that enough time and enough resource was spent on the development of cricket at this level and even lower than this so that is something that we are working seriously on right they are challenging with funding etc etc but we are going to do our best to see how we can um, impact the game at the junior levels because if we don't, we have to start. Renardo Brown for TVJ Sports. And that's it for your Midday Sports Roundup and concludes the Midday News Package. I'm Shane Masters. Join us at 7 for primetime news on behalf of the news, sports and production teams. Have a good afternoon.